Hi everybody, Lori here for Simon Says Stamp. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a fun geometric holiday project to share with you. I'm going to be featuring the Geometric Snowflakes stencil. Now as you can see, this stencil is sized for a slimline card. But I want to show you how it works just as well for a standard size card. So I have a panel of Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock and I'm adhering the stencil. Um, I like to do this a lot because I do prefer a standard size card. Um, every, you know, once in a while I'll whip out a slim line, but I just want to show you how these stencils can be adapted for both. So it gives you a little more mileage. Okay, I use post-it tape to mask off some angles on the Geometric Snowflake stencil. Going to be blending using some Distress Inks and I've got them all on my ink stand here, holding them steady eddy and starting with candied apple. So what I'm attempting here to do is give it a little gradient love. So I want it to be more vibrant on the bottom of that, on the left side, and then fade it up to a little bit lighter. Now I'll just warn you up front, I do use a crazy amount of post-it tape when I work. And if you don't like, I just like post-it tape because it's not too tacky, but it's just tacky enough. Sometimes when I've tried to use other types of sometimes it will rip my cardstock and chap my khakis so that is why i like using post-it tape you can also in a pinch just use some printer paper you know just put some on the top and on the bottom and then you can mask off that way i'm on row three here using squeeze lemonade i am using a different brush obviously for each color i have designated a brush for all my distress inks because I just like my squeeze lemonade to stay light and bright. Every once in a while I'll pull out like I did here, add a little bit of mustard seed to just give it a punch of bright yellow. And then for this last row on the bottom here, I have a little bit of twisted citron. So this is what I call the Christmas rainbow. And it's where you basically do red, orange, yellow, and green. And I think I do add just a little smidgety smidge down there in that bottom corner uh, of Mermaid Lagoon. But we're not going to count that. Generally, I like to stop at green because I feel like that's what makes it the Christmas rainbow. You know what? Sometimes don't listen to anything I say. All right, we're going to take off that post-it tape on the top because I got to work on the rows above it. So I'm masking off that row above the candied apple. We're going to go pink. We got picked raspberry, which is one of my favorite colors. Picked raspberry and twisted citron just light my fire. So here's the thing that you can do with these slim line sized stencils. What you're going to do is you're going to trim it because it's quite narrow. I believe the stencil is about three and a half inches wide and my panel is four and a quarter. Uh, last color, by the way, is Spun Sugar, which is just a delightful, just a delightful pink and a, just a great way to just round it out. Okay, lift up the stencil, reveal the geometric snowflake magic. Here I'm going to trim off the excess. So this panel is going to be, like I say, three and a half inches wide. And then for the length, you got to trim off all the extra parts. So it's going to be four and three fourths inches tall. Put a little foam tape on the back, slap it down on a white card base, and we're moving on to the sentiment. I pulled out the extra large Christmas greetings stamp set. I'm going to emboss this Scripty Mary in gold onto some vellum. Oh yeah, we're keeping it spicy for the holidays. So I rubbed down that vellum with the Magic Powder Bag. I'm inking up the Mary with Versamark ink. I like to, when I emboss, I like to stamp it twice to make it nice. And now here's Simon's Stamp Gold Embossing Powder. And this is where you bring the highfalutin Christmas cheer. Sprinkle on the gold, get your heat gun hot. You wanna do this quick. Don't wanna warp that vellum. Bada boom, bada bing. And then we take the coordinating die. Gosh, that's what I love about this extra large, these extra large sentiment sets. They got coordinating dies. I'm going to go ahead and emboss a coordinating sentiment. Just that simple little Christmas. This time, I'm going to do it in white onto black. 
Can you see I need to clean off my Misty? It's just filthy. It's all that magic powder bag. Gets everywhere. Okay, I'm pouring on the Simus Stamp white embossing powder. Going to heat this with the heat gun. And now here's how I trim these out. Always. I use the Simus Stamp sentiment label dies. These are a must have. And I just run that through my die cutting machine, trim off the excess. I do put little slivers of foam tape to pop it because dimension is life. Now you could put the Mary straight. No one's going to judge. But hey, why not keep it trendy and go on that angle? Now here's the thing that's kicking me in the pants. I noticed when I adhered that Christmas sentiment, it's not quite parallel to the blended angles. Now, I don't know if you saw that. I didn't see it until just now. It's not parallel. I wish I just want to go in there and just straighten out that angle. Just straighten it just a smidge. I added some of these little bubbles for embellishment and this card is finished. Now all I got to do is straighten out the Christmas and it'll all be merry as get out. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.